270 kilometers above Earth's surface, there's still plenty of gravity to pull you down. But if you're in orbit, it seems as if there isn't any. So if you leave your spacecraft to work on it from the outside, things go very differently from what happens if you do the same work down on Earth. Even a small push against the craft accelerates you backwards, unable to stop until you reach the end of the air hose. Then, tension in the hose pulls you back. You can end up bouncing around in a crazy, uncontrolled dance. That's the situation that Gene Cernan found himself in when he spacewalked during the Gemini 9 space mission in 1966. If he tried to turn a valve, it wouldn't move, but his body would spin in the opposite direction. When he grabbed a handle to steady himself, his body would swing around till it bounced against the craft. Fighting to keep control as he carried out his tasks, Cernan lost five kilos in two hours, sweating in his suit. Astounding as it seems, NASA's engineers had forgotten Newton's third law of motion. If one object exerts a force on another, the second exerts a force of the same size back. So, if Cernan pushed against the spacecraft, it pushed back. And that's when Newton's second law came into play. The force from Cernan's muscles onto the craft made it accelerate away from him, but not by much because of the craft's large mass. The same magnitude force, pushing back on Cernan though, made him accelerate much more than the spacecraft because of his lower mass. Back down on Earth, where, out of orbit, we experience gravity's full effects. Gravity and friction make things a lot less likely to move about. But Newton's third law still holds. Forces come in pairs. Whenever one object exerts a force on another one, the second exerts exactly the same size force back. <laughs> 